Hi and welcome to my series of podcasts. My name is Mark McDermott. I'm a certified trainer in NLP, timeline therapy, hypnosis and coaching. Uh, and amongst other things, I'm also a qualified counsellor, mechanic, outdoor pursuits instructor, uh, sport coach, uh, teacher of Aikido and Iaido, and a number of other things, which are all things that I do. Um, what I do is I enable myself and other people to gain access to the resources necessary to facilitate changes within myself and within the people that I work for um, so that the results that I want to get are the results that I'm getting and that the boundary between those things gets more dissolved over time so that I get quicker and better results so that I become more aware of myself more conscious of myself and the choices that I'm making, thereby enabling me to make more informed choices over time, which for the last 25 years or so has been the ride of a lifetime, as I often describe it. Um, I could talk about the different techniques themselves, and no doubt during the podcasts which follow this, um, we will at, so at some point get into the actual techniques themselves. But what intri intrigues me more and more over time is that yeah I do what I do and I'm from England but there are hundreds thousands of other NLP trainers um, from all sorts of cultures and countries around the world and although we have differences in that we may speak a different language or we may have grown up in a different culture and there are certainly differences between us but what intrigues me and what strikes me more over time as I get to know people is that actually there's not so much different. The, the things that I'm attempting to do for the people in the area of the world that I live in are similar to the same sorts of things that people are attempting to achieve for people in the areas that they live in. The development of consciousness and the self is not some um, airy-fairy, flaky, untouchable kind of new agey you know write it off any way you want to but it's actually a very solid pursuit it's methodological and the more that i've become aware of the tools through which i can be more methodical in my approach to developing myself and therefore the clients that i work with um, the better i get at being me the more i enjoy my everyday life uh, which is great, by the way. And the more I want to encourage other people to do that, and I'm aware that there are people all over the world that are fine examples of doing the very same thing. Uh, so I decided that I would, I would uh, bring a number of people together uh, to discuss this from many different countries in the world so that you get the idea that uh, what works for me might not work for you, what works for someone else in Malaysia or Japan or Australia or wherever might work better for you. In fact, the way that they describe it may resonate with you more. And through it all, what I would hope to do is to inspire you as well, that if you haven't already taken up the pursuit and you're curious about this thing called NLP uh, or hypnosis and so on, that you at least look into it and then make an informed decision based on what you find by listening to people who are not talking theoretically about what's possible or not possible with NLP, but actually talking about their own lives and how actually they're engaging with their own life, with their own consciousness and becoming more aware over time of the processes that they're engaging in so that they can get better and better at doing it, just like any other skill uh, that you may engage in. The more that you develop that, that skill, the easier it is to be. Simply put, in a metaphor, uh, if at first when I was learning how to play the guitar, half my time was spent trying to tune the thing um, now, if I pick up a guitar and it's slightly out of tune, firstly, I know that. And secondly, I can tweak it within a second or two so that it's in tune and I can carry on playing. That's the difference between not being able to do it and being able to do it. It becomes a skill and the skill gets better and better over time. So uh, I'm going to be talking to a number of people that I consider to be fantastic examples from our field, uh, true leaders in their own right people who have already excelled, who are fully invested 
in the process themselves of how all of this works. To gain some insight into the similarities and the differences between our approaches and our viewpoints, my aim is to illustrate and to show this to you. Um, and of course, so that you can get to know that there are people elsewhere in the world. Maybe there's someone closer to you than I am, uh, in which case, obviously, go and talk to them. Um, and also to just, to just inspire you to know that it's not about the complicated sounding things that we could call techniques and so on, that actually behind all of that, there's a simplicity and a beauty to it all. Um, becoming more and more in alignment with who you are is not something that, you know, you find these complicated books in the esoteric section of the secondhand bookshops and things like that, like I used to when I was a teenager. It's more straightforward, more methodical. The fact is our field is growing and changing. And if all we do is do more of what has happened already in the last 30, 40 years of, of the development of this field, then we'll just get more of the same. Um, as great as, as it is to learn the platform from which we jump, I'm much more interested in the jumping. I'm more interested in new things, new experiences, new feelings, and gearing our brain towards what's outside of the previously known patterns that we've created inside ourselves that we call our awareness. Because outside of that, there's a lot going on. And the truth is, what I do with other people when I work with them is to spot what they're not aware of, which is holding them back. And I'm under no illusion that such things exist for me as well. So partly through talking with other people, I'm also gaining insight into myself and things that I can do and grow and change with. And what I hope is that, that you are also inspired by that. Should you wish to know more about NLP itself, or timeline therapy itself, and hypnosis and so on, then any one of us is quite capable of describing or explaining or frantically teaching you. <laughs> I'm going to say frantically, I, I, maybe I, what I mean is um, with passion, because it's not just a system of techniques, it's a way of being. And that way of being can, yes, help with sales. Yes, it can help with business development and growth. Yes, it can help with personal development and growth. And it's all of those things, and it's much more besides. So I'm talking about the patterns behind the patterns of the things that we call techniques in our field, and much more interested in the benefits of that to me and to the people that I talk with. What does it do for us? What does it get us? And what does it enable in our future? And how do we perceive the future in terms of if I'm having an effect amongst the people that I'm having because I'm training people and I'm uh, facilitating groups and individuals, and I know that there are people all over the planet doing that, then where are we heading with all of this? I think that that's kind of a curious thing that needs to be explored more. And I think that currently we have a beautiful opportunity to come together in a way that had never been conceived of before as such, and to work together and to pull together in the same direction and build the future that we all want for ourselves and for the people that we leave behind when we've completed our time of inhabiting this form. So enjoy yourselves. Each of the podcasts is, uh, you know, roughly about half an hour or so. Um, some may be longer. Um, but I want to give you a flavour of as many different aspects of excellence in the field as I can find for you, uh, with the hope that it inspires you to think, well, if they can do it, I can do it too. Because there's nothing special about us as such. We're just normal human beings. What I'm interested in is how you too can eliminate the things that stopped you from being fully you and gain full access to all your potential and resources so that you can produce results 
that frankly amaze you and which contribute to society as a concept. We all have great ideas and following through on those great ideas leads to benefits for all. So what are the benefits of learning all about this? What are our aspirations? What gets us out of bed in the morning? And sure, how do we use all of this stuff to increase our own potential and our, our leverage in terms of business and so on and so forth? So enjoy the process. I hope you do. And of course, if at any point you want to know more, then you're obviously welcome to get in touch with me, which is info at nlptraining.org.uk or take a look at my own website, which is www.nlptraining.org.uk. I look forward to contacting you soon and uh, enjoy what's to come.